Hey guys, Big HD here. Welcome to another Let's Play review. This time we're going to uh, check out Pac-Man 99. Now, I was kind of on the fence whether to actually play this or not, but considering how they're literally going to shut down the servers tomorrow, I figured might as well make a video out of it, right? So, of course, I, I'm familiar with Pac-Man. Anyone who grew up in the 80s and 90s probably knows what Pac-Man already is. But the whole Battle Royale 99 concept, um, a lot of people are kind of mixed over it. I mean, I find it fine, and from what I've seen, it's a very similar concept to that of Tetris 99, which I have played as well. But, again, these these types of um, online games, considering how they're, uh, they're pretty much part of the whole Nintendo Switch Online servers, and um, they're practically free, I feel like that whole concept is kind of a double-edged sword because I don't know if... Yes, the game can be popular if, if it's played online, but how do these guys turn a profit? That's my question. But in any case, I mean, if, if it brings in like more subscribers to the Nintendo Switch Online servers, then I guess it might work. I don't know. But let's see. Now, I don't really know if there are any... Uh, I think there's probably like some kind of a DLC. Yeah, probably DLC content in this. I think that's probably like the main complaint about it about this game is that it's asking for DLC when it's a free game. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little. I, I kind of question that approach. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Anyway, let's see custom themes. So from my understanding, yeah, you can pretty much change the um, the themes of. Uh, the maze here, the colors, you want it to give a, a brick-like feel like it was Legos, pastel blocks, igloo. Of course, these require a lot of time and effort to unlock. And uh, granted, I haven't really played much of uh, this game. Still, I mean, it does look pretty neat. Doing a lot of references to older Namco um, arcade games. Anyway, of course, the movement here. Yeah, what I've noticed is that this game, just like Tetris 99, it doesn't exactly explain how to play it. It's it's one of those things where you just have to wing it. Let's see, movement. You can decide whether to use the joystick or not, or if you want to use it for like some other functionality. Uh, you can use the D-pad if you want. Change the strategy with X, Y, B, A. Or using the right thumbstick as well. Leave it how it is. Yeah, I'm actually using a GameCube controller for this one. Of course, there are a lot of unlockables here, but this might get lost forever if, uh, if someone doesn't mod this eventually, like in, in the next few years. So this is just... Uh, basically, I'm documenting my own personal thoughts, opinions, and overall gameplay of, uh, of this video in this of Pac-Man 99 in this video, so might as well. I was checking out uh, the game earlier today, and uh, considering I'm, I'm at level 8 here, I I've, I think the last game I, I've reached at least like top... I almost reached the top 10. I was 11, and I got knocked out immediately. So the main object of the game, of course, try to collect as many pellets, power, power pellets as possible, and try to consume as many ghosts as possible in order to either counter or knock out other opponents that are also playing the game. What I've noticed is that the little packs, the, the, the white packs, they're intentionally designed to slow you down. And the fruits in the center pretty much like Reese resets all the pellets, I guess. But you gotta keep the flow going. And I think just like in Tetris, the faster things go, the more difficult it gets. Ah, whoa, that was close. Ah, no! So, put in the comments if you've actually played Pac-Man 99 at some point. Let me know. Let me uh, Give me your thoughts on the whole game. 
considering how um, this game is going to be taken down tomorrow, probably tomorrow evening, I'm making the best of it and I'm just doing this little video let's play review scenario here. Let's see if I can do better than top 46. Gotta keep an eye on the ghosts. Swallow these silhouettes of the ghosts for additional points. And you attack competitors with that. Those pack silhouettes supposedly slow you down, I think. So, in, in the event that you get cornered by two ghosts, you kind of get stuck with that too. So you gotta be very careful. Three, four, five. The more ghosts you swallow, the more you can attack your rivals. And if you're super good at this, you'll eventually see a red pack silhouette that might attack you, so you gotta be careful with that too. Okay. Okay, I'm at 52. Keep attacking. going. Stay on your toes. Incoming. Okay, 37. 36. 35. Stay on your toes. 33. 32. Thirty. Shoot! I shouldn't have gone there. But just, just try to focus and keep the flow of the game going. Of course, you can choose to control Pac-Man either with the D-pad or the joystick. Both were fine. I think I prefer the D-pad. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! That was close. Be safe. Gotta continue. Fifty seven. 55. Okay. 50 left. So the strawberry speeds up the gameplay? Go down! Thirty-nine. <laughs> Rod. So the game does take some time to uh, to get used to. I mean, overall the game is neat and all, but I, I guess the novelty kind of wore off very early for this game. So I can't really say if uh, if uh, if it did well. I think I checked and I, it got like a. Uh, like 10 million users to subscribe to the Nintendo Switch Online service. So 
76. Oh, come on! Once you um, get to the top 50, the top 25, of course, it, it gets a lot more chaotic as time goes on, and you have to stay on your toes as best as possible. I feel like it does take a lot longer to start up a game compared to Tetris 99. I've seen F-099, considering how it's a new game, I've seen a lot of people just connect instantly. Though this one, it takes a, take, takes a while. Let's see if I can survive the top 50 first. So yeah, with a C stick, you can do a uh, different gameplay methods where you either attack or defend against uh, competitors that are either attacking you in the process or just throwing more stuff on the screen. Again, with some similarities in terms of gameplay compared to like uh, Petrus 99. Rod. Now I'm curious. I've what other ideas for a 99 Battle Royale game would uh, would be interesting? I mean, if Nintendo decides to implement another 99 game, the first one that comes to mind right now is Excite Bike. Just the thought of an Excite Bike 99 concept. I see it might have potential, though it might be a, another chaotic mess. No, 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 no! Ah. I got cornered. You guys have until tomorrow to play this game? Otherwise, Bandai Namco is going to pack it up. If you know what I mean. Oh, crud. Of the game going. Up, 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 up. Where do you think you're going? Okay. Got it. Speed up. Forty one. Uh, 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 uh. Thirty one. Are those? Ah, I'm not supposed to touch those. Ugh. Sorry, when 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 you get so when when you feel like you're on fire and you're on a roll, the slight choke can just ruin you. I think I completely understand why the game is going to be shut down because it has kind of run its run its course. See, another game that would deserve a 99 treatment 
Maybe Zelda, maybe Pilot Wings? But how would that work? That's my question. It's probably gonna be like one of those beat the clock scenarios. One thing I'm kind of surprised is that Sonic hasn't tried a Battle Royale, or, or has it? I mean, considering how we had Mario 35, did we ever get... I don't know... Crap. Did we ever get, like, a, uh, a Sonic 99 concept? I wonder. Don't be surprised if this game eventually pops up in some other way, shape, or form thanks to preservation. Because modders will always find a way to preserve this game no matter what. Like in Jurassic Park, life finds a way. Just focus on the main screen, don't focus on anything else. Oh boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that, that triggered me. If I manage to reach at least a, a, at 11th, like the, the 11th spot, I could do way better than that. 49. Another red pack. Oh! Top 23. Alright, you know what? One more game. Okay, I need to get the pack first, the power pellet. 
There we go. The more I play, the more I realize that it's becoming less Pac-Man and more like Worms. Like um, like that old worm game that the more you eat, the bigger the the, the bigger the worm gets. But this is kind of like in reverse. Twenty-seven. Whoa, 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 whoa! Fifty. Oh, that was close. No, no, no! I don't know whether I should keep going or not. Oh god, okay, okay, okay. Final game. To get all of them at once. No! I got greedy. Hey. Careful. I'm going there. There we go. They do slow you down. Oh. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, Let's Play video review. It's fun for what it is. Unfortunately, I never really had the time to unlock everything else. So, might as well play it before Namco, Bandai Namco decides to pack it up. So, <laughs> well, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll keep you posted for any new updates on uh, additional content. Because I have some other ideas that I have in store for this month. So uh, take care. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for more. See ya.